The four-movie theater Ultra Short Throw Projector made waves when it first launched here in the US early last summer and is the enhanced and updated version of its Chinese counterpart, the Fengmi T1. This triple laser UST utilizes ALPD 4.0 RGB Plus technology, which helps give it some of the best black levels ever seen on a projector. These amazing specs helped the four-movie theater take first place in the 2022 Laser TV Showdown. The AWOL, on the other hand, may be new to the projection industry, but they're not new to product development. With the AWOL Vision LTV2500, they brought a fantastic triple laser projector to market at an affordable price. They released this ultra short throw projector along the brighter AWOL Vision LTV3500. Therefore, the AWOL has quickly developed a strong fan base, and it's not hard to see why. So, will the four movie theater outperform the AWOL Vision? Will there be a surprising winner? Let's find out! For more information and updated prices, check the links in the description box below. First things first, let's take a look at the design. The 4 movie theater doesn't break any conventions when it comes to laser TV design. Weighing in at 21.6 pounds, it has a massive great slab that's intended to be sat on a table next to your wall rather than ceiling mounted or projected from behind you. What's more? It's blocky, with square corners and lacks any real design flourishes or differentiation. It's about as generic looking as you can get. Around the back, it sports three HDMI 2.1 ports, one of which has eARC for sending audio back to your AV receiver should you opt to use the built-in Android system to play content, two USB-A ports, a 3.5mm stereo line out, TOS optical audio out, and finally, a LAN port. Looking at its black print, the AWOL Vision LTV3500 clocks in at 34 pounds, measuring 23.6 by 13.9 by 5.7 inches. In front, it has a speaker grill, IR and ambient light sensor which plays a status indicator. On top, it sports a power button, PIR sensor, block sensor and lens. Around its back, it has an array of different inputs and outputs, including an optical SPDIF audio out, micro USB debug port, USB for media playback, Ethernet LAN jack, analog RCA AV input, power port, and a trio of HDMI ports, including one with eARC and one concealed in a streaming stick compartment, plus a second USB port for power. On either side, you'll find ample ventilation to keep the Vision 3500 cool under load, and a USB service port on the right-hand side. Underneath the unit, there are four adjustable feet and four mounting holds for ceiling mounting the AWOL Vision. Feature-wise, its brightest setting is rated at 3500 lumens, and it can reproduce high dynamic range video content in HDR10, HDR10+, and HLG formats, with color covering the REC 2020 color gamut, which exceeds the DCI-P3 gamut currently used for the vast majority of HDR mastering. Nevertheless, unlike the 4-movie theater, this model is not native 4K. The UHD, 3840 by 2160 resolution is achieved by a 1080p native 0.47 inch DLP chip using four phase XPR fast pixel shifting. While the AWOL Vision 3500 cannot resolve a one pixel checkerboard grid, this approach renders near 4K detail with relative ease. That said, the tri laser light engine erases the need for the sequential color wheel typically found in single chip DLP projectors, but not necessarily the associated rainbow effect. However, rainbows are minimized as compared to the color wheel approach. That said, the 25,000 hour lifespan of the lamp is 5,000 hours longer than the four movie theater. Nevertheless, the four movie theater made sure to compensate for this. How, you might ask? Well, you see, it utilizes the Texas Instruments 0.47-inch native 1080p DMD chipset and TI's expanded pixel resolution actuator that performs four-phase pixel shifting at 240Hz, which results in the ability to fully resolve a 4K UHD signal with 8.3 million addressable pixels. Better yet, the light source behind the 4-movie theater is the ALPD 4.0 RGB Plus triple laser. 
This light source uses a single blue laser phosphor and secondary red, green, and blue laser diode, which allows for a larger gamut coverage, more color brightness, and reduced laser speckle, which is a common artifact among discrete RGB laser projectors. Simply put, this goes to show just how superior it is in contrast and color accuracy. In terms of brightness, the 4-movie theater has a respectable 2800 ANSI lumens brightness rating and an impressive gamut coverage measured at over 100% for Rec. 709 color gamut coverage, with a total of 158% coverage, over 100% for DCI-P3 gamut coverage with a total of 123% gamut coverage, and 90% gamut coverage of the BT-2020 color space. This is quite low when compared to the AWOL Vision 3500. Nevertheless, both the 4-movie theater and the AWOL Vision 3500 allow for front or rear as well as ceiling or tabletop installation, with the projection screen size from 80 inches diagonal up to a very large 150 inch diagonal. These projection sizes are possible utilizing as little as 5.5 inches of space from projection screen to back of the unit to display an 80-inch image, to as much as 19.3 inches for a 150-inch image. That said, the 4-movie theater is fairly feature-packed. It supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, Android TV 11 built-in, not through a separate dongle, with support for HBO Max, Disney+, Hulu, and Prime Video with only Netflix not currently supported. HDR10 Plus support is claimed, though this is questionable. Additionally, the 4Movie also has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, sound by Bowers and Wilkins, and HDMI 2.1 ports that support variable refresh rate for gaming with a sync range of 40Hz to 120Hz. And auto low latency mode to enable game mode when something like an Xbox or PlayStation starts a game. That is a robust feature set, and no matter how you look at it, one would be hard pressed to find all of this in a UST. The Vision 3500 on the other hand doesn't sport much. Instead of having built-in streaming apps, the Vision 3500 rocks a compartment with a dedicated HDMI input, including a USB power port that allows you to attach the provided Fire TV Stick 4K Max. This streaming player delivers a robust user experience and supports 4K, HDR10, and HDR10 Plus streaming, as well as Dolby Atmos. The Fire Stick has everything you need to get a rich multimedia experience out of this UST, but it requires you to use two remotes during setup, during which time it will prompt you to see if the volume control works. This process activates HDMI CEC on the stick and lets the AWOL remote control it. Once that is done, you only need the AWOL remote, but if you want to use voice search, you'll still need to keep the Fire TV remote around or else use an Amazon Echo or similar Alexa-compatible device. Nevertheless, the Vision 3500 has high-quality audio options. To begin with, the built-in stereo speaker system performs better than the average competing UST. There are four front-facing speaker drivers and a total of 36 watts of power. Despite having only two channels, it projects a decent virtual sound field and has a Dolby Atmos mode to make better use of Atmos soundtracks. Unfortunately, the dedicated SPDIF optical audio connection is a fixed line output that can't be used to add a subwoofer that tracks with the remote's volume control. Nevertheless, if you wanted to use this projector standalone, for example in a temporary setup, it'll do the trick. The 4-movie theater, on the other hand, has a sound system which is designed by the respected British audio brand Bowers & Wilkins, and it's fairly substantial. There are two 15-watt speaker arrays, both of which consist of titanium dome tweeters, a mid-bass driver, and a side-firing bass reflex port. Also, as mentioned, it offers Dolby Atmos support utilizing surround virtualization for a convincing effect. Better yet, the 4Movie Theater provides a decent number of connectivity options with its three HDMI 2.1 inputs, all of which support the VRR, ALLM, and game mode functions. What's more, there's eARC support on HDMI 3 for funneling Dolby Atmos signals from the streaming platform or a connected device to an outboard sound system. Additionally, the projector offers one 3.5mm analog audio output, and finally, a SPDIF optical output. 
Overall, the 4Movie Theater really is a total stellar package UST. It offers a wealth of options in terms of picture adjustments and HDMI 2.1 features such as VRR and ALLM. It provides Dolby Vision, has great wide gamut coverage that exceeds 100% of the DCI-P3 color space, and more than adequate audio performance with Dolby Atmos support. Genuinely speaking, price to performance, it's a winner when you consider what you're getting at the current street price of $3,499. Yes, the AWOL is truly better in terms of ANSI lumens, but when you look at performance and feature set, the 4 movie really does sit pretty high on the list of UST projectors to look at. Nevertheless, I totally get what AWOL is going for with the Vision 3500. This projector leans in on delivering the brightest picture possible and fulfilling the role of a TV replacement while also catering to the home theater crowd. It's an approach that allows it to perform well in rooms with significant amounts of ambient light while also delivering a compelling 4K HDR viewing experience in a darkened state. All in all, if you want a UST projector that beats the competition in overall brightness, AWOL's Vision 3500 could very well be the right choice for you. It's notable how it maintains its high brightness under the scrutiny of a meter. Picking a clear winner for this competition was a hard decision, and yet I feel like the 4-movie theater must be declared as the winner. It does everything better than well in almost every category, with the exception of input latency for gaming. And while the Vision 3500 performs better in that area, even in this regard, the 4Movie isn't awful and it really does excel everywhere else. Not to say that the 4Movie is perfect, as it's far from it. There are improvements to be made beyond just the lag time, including but not limited to better OOTB accuracy. But these are minor issues. The bottom line is that the 4Movie Theater is competitively priced and performs at a much higher level than its price would indicate. It also outperforms other offerings in the UST space that potentially cost more. The competition within the UST space is particularly fierce these days, and right now, the 4Movie Theater is the competition to beat, no doubt. For more information and updated prices, check the links in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our previous video about the top 5 best ultra-short throw projectors or our previous comparison between the 4Movie Theater and the Hisense PX1 Pro. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so as never to miss any of our upcoming videos.